given that p is equal to 3 and q is equal to negative 1, that we should find the value of x when x equals to p square q minus q square p. So now, it says x is equal to p square q minus q square p. So p square p is 3, so we say 3 square multiplied by q, which is negative 1, then minus, you can see it here, minus, the minus 1, that is q square is minus 1 square, then p is 3, so we say multiply by 3. So 3 square will give you 9, multiply by 1, you can see it here, then minus negative 1 square will give us positive 1, and then multiply by 3. So please don't forget that this channel is about me explaining the content of my textbook from topic to topic, from chapter to chapter, from page to page. So please, if you want to get the full content of this book, subscribe to this channel. And then moving on, we have negative 9. That is a 9 multiplied by negative 1 is negative 9. Then minus 1 multiplied by 3 is 1. So we say minus 3. So negative 9 minus 3 will give you minus 12 as the final answer. And then we have another example here that says that we should evaluate a b root c square plus b square given that a is equal to 2 and b is equal to negative 3 and c is equal to 4. Now in order to do that, we come back to the expression where we have a b c square plus b square. Don't forget that a is 2, so we have 2. b is negative 3, so multiply by negative 3. Then all multiply by the square root of c is 4, so we say 4 square. And b is negative 3, so we say negative 3 square. So 2 multiply by negative 3 will give you negative 6. And then 4 square is 16, then multiply by negative 3 square is 9. That gives you 16 plus 9 as 25. So the square root of 25 is 5. Then multiply by the negative 6 that we have. That gives you negative 30. So please subscribe to the content of this textbook by subscribing to this channel so that you can get the full content of my textbook explained to you from chapter to chapter. Thank you.